Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be discussing about the digestion of food that is taking place in the stomach. So, in the stomach, the mucus of the stomach, it has got the gastric glands. It has got various gastric glands which has some secretions which actually help in the digestion of food in the stomach. Now, the stomach gastric glands, it is made up of three different types of cells. Now, what are those? First of all, the mucus neck cells. These secrete mucus. We know mucus, it helps in lubricating and also additionally, it has a function of protecting the layers of the wall, wall layers of the intestine and the stomach from the acidic juices like the HCL. The second type of cell is known as the peptic or the chief cells. Now, these cells, they secrete a proenzyme called pepsinogen. What do we mean by proenzyme? Proenzyme means it is a form of an enzyme which is not active. This proenzyme, pepsinogen, it needs some modifications. Only then only they can become an active enzyme. Now, the third type of cells are known as the parietal or the oxyntic cells. They secrete HCL and the intrinsic factor which are essential for the absorption of vitamin B12. In the stomach, the formation of chyme takes place. Now, what do you mean by chyme? Chyme is a form of a food which is being formed in the stomach because of the mixing of the bolus or the food that is coming from the esophagus with the digestive enzymes or juices in the stomach. So, this form of food in the stomach with the mixing of digestive juices is known as the chyme. Now, since we have discussed that the peptic cells or the chief cells, they secrete a proenzyme called pepsinogen. This pepsinogen in the presence of HCL which is being secreted by the auxentic cells, it gets transferred, transformed into an active enzyme which is known as pepsin. Now, this enzyme pepsin, it has a capability to convert proteins into smaller, smaller molecules called peptides. Now, these peptides, these can be utilized or further di on digestion can be utilized in the uh, small intestine and in the body cells for various other processes. Now, the presence of mucus and the bicarbonates, it prevent the damage from the stomach wall. The presence of mucus, basically, it lubricates the whole area so that the easy movement of food materials can happen. In addition to that, it also protects the wall of the stomach from being getting damaged because of the highly concentrated HCL that has been secreted by the gastric glands. Now, the gastric juices of the infants only, they have certain things called renin. Now, this renin actually, it helps in the digestion of milk protein. Certain milk proteins, these are digested by the renin only and which are mostly present in case of infants. So, it is being it's usually suggested that when with age, milk proteins are not actually digested or there is no a proper benefit that is being given to the old age people from milk because of the absence of renin in the gastric juices. Small amounts of lipase is also secreted by the gastric glands. So, in this video, we have talked about the digestion of the food that is happening in the stomach. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.